good afternoon sir sir i am presenting a uh, oral presentation on topic homicidal death in southwest delhi and ncr it is a retrospective study so starting with the introduction part homicide is the killing of human being by another human being and homicide is uh, classified into two types lawful homicide and unlawful homicide so in lawful homicide it occurs in uh, cases such as uh, in self defense while unlawful homicide it involves in section 299 of indian penal code which is also called as culpable homicide it is whoever causes death by doing an act with intention of causing death or with the intention of causing such bodily injury as is likely to cause death or with the knowledge that he is likely by such an act to cause death commit the offense of culpable homicide according to the delhi police annual crime statistics total number of uh, ipc cases registered in delhi in 2019 were 295900 out of which 521 were registered as murder under section 302 ipc and 487 were registered as attempt to murder under section 307 ipc total ipc cases registered in delhi from 1st january 2020 to 31st october 2020 Was two lakh six thousand nine hundred seventy eight, out of which three ninety three was registered as murder and four eighty were registered as attempt to murder. So these data of two thousand nineteen and twenty when compared show similar trend. However, instances of murder per lakh of the population have shown a significant decline because of increase uh, in spite of increasing population, unplanned urbanization, and social inequality, which may be due to the modernization of Delhi police and better surveillance. So here are very few studies highlighting the pattern trends of homicide in Southwest Delhi. Hence, the present study was carried out to assess the mode, manner of death, victim profile, time of incident, duration of survival, time of injury inflicted, body part involved, and the other parameters related to the uh, homicide in Southwest Delhi. So material and methods. Uh, the study was conducted in Department of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology in Vardhaman uh, Mahavir Medical College. so we have included all the cases brought to the mortuary wing of sardarjan hospital for medical legal autopsy with the alleged history of assault and later on confirmed by the police investigation report of the year 2020 and the cases without alleged history of assault but later on during autopsy came out to be homicidal of the year 2020 source of information was brief fact and inquest paper submitted by the investigating officer concerned investigating officer and autopsy reports now we have observed the following findings in table 1 we can see age and sex wise distribution of homicidal cases here we can see the most affected age group in our study was in between 21 to 30 years of age that is third decade of life with 36 cases followed by age group 41 to 50 years of life that is fifth decade in table second we can see age and sex wise distribution of homicidal cases so it was observed that most common mode of uh, homicide in the males were blunt force impact by hard and blunt weapon in 56 cases followed by firearm and sharp edged weapon in 13 cases and burns in 6 cases while in female the common most mode of homicide was burn in 13 cases followed by impact due to hard and blunt object in nine victims in table 3 we can see locality wise distribution of mode of homicide we can see in urban and rural areas the most common uh, uh, method of uh, homicide was by hard and blunt object and the second most common uh, cause in rural area was burned while in table 4 we can see distribution of uh, case as per uh, time of incidence most of the homicidal cases it occurred between uh, 5 pm to 10 pm which is followed by a timing of 11 pm to 4 am in table 5 we can see distribution of case as per alleged motive behind the death so personal enmity it was observed in 59 uh, cases which is followed by sudden provocation while in table 6 we can see distribution of cases as per survival period of the victim 
so uh, 30 cases they were uh, brought uh, they were brought dead and uh, 55 cases they were survived for at least uh, 48 hours table 7 it shows distribution of cases as per injuries with respect to body regions so head was uh, involved in uh, maximum cases in 59 cases which is followed by full body Table A shows distribution of cases as per cause of death. So head injury was the most common cause of death, which is followed by hemorrhagic shock and septicemia. Now coming to discussion and conclusion. In our study of homicidal death, majority of victims were male and the most common age group uh, was third decade of life. The victim belonged to the both urban and rural areas with slight inclination towards urban areas and mostly died due to blunt force impact to head. The most common motive behind these murders were personal enmity, which is followed by sudden provocation in this study. So our study also found burn as the most common mode of death, most common mode of homicide in females. Head injury was found to be the most common cause of death followed by hemorrhagic shock and septicemia. Thank you, sir.